Hello everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Today I'm in beautiful and sunny uh, Florida. And I wanted to talk about a conversation that I just had with a CMO, a Chief Marketing Officer uh, at a company. And I was asking what her opinion, or more importantly, what her customer's opinion on text message marketing are. And it was very interesting because she used one word and it was intrusive. So I wanted to look that up just to make sure I'm understanding it correctly. Intrusive is essentially causing annoyance uh, by unwanted messages. And messages I added because we're talking about messaging. So customer is getting unwanted and becoming annoyed at the messages that are unwanted that they're receiving. I agree with her. If you are sending unwanted messages or unrequested messages, you did not opt in, uh, or you did not get an opt-in from a customer, a text message sent to a customer will be disastrous for your brand. The customer will be extremely mad, they'll be extremely frustrated, they most likely will not purchase at your uh, restaurant, retail store anymore, they could even sue you for anywhere from a thousand, or sorry, $500 to $1,500 per text message. So yes, it is intrusive. If you do not get your customer's permission to text message them, it is extremely intrusive. It is one of the most intrusive things I think you can do as a marketer or a brand, unless you can just go to your house or their house, the customer and knock on their door. I think that might be a little more intrusive, but besides that, text message marketing is extremely intrusive. Now, why though do we sell text message marketing? Why do I believe it's the best channel to reach your customers? And why do I believe it's not intrusive? is because if done right, text message marketing is 100% not intrusive and that's why people like it. It's because the customer has to request to receive text messages. In the United States, we have a thing called the TCPA, the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. And it essentially says, you can never text message a customer, a marketing text message, without their permission. You can't even text message them to ask for their permission. So this is something that the customer wants. So what I say to a CMO, uh, like I was talking to, is I think the key is, is to put it out there and see if customers want to be text messaged. Because then if they want to be text messaged and you text message them great offers and promotions, then 100% it is not intrusive because they wanted it. It essentially is not the definition. It's, it's the opposite of the definition of intrusive. So I just thought I would put a video out there to explain for those people that maybe think text messaging is intrusive because yes, it is intrusive if you don't get the customer's permission. But as I said, with the Telephone Consumer Protection Act here in the United States, you have to get the customer's permission and it's very obvious if the customer is given permission or not, they're going to remember it. So hopefully uh, you guys that are out there that are thinking about text message marketing, don't think of it as intrusive, think of it as the opposite of intrusive if done correctly, which from a marketing standpoint, pretty great deal. Uh, opposite of intrusive is the customer wants it. And if the customer wants text messages from your brand, you as a brand should be sending those. Anyway, my name is Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. You have a question about text message marketing, short codes, MMS marketing, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to respond. Thanks everyone.